Hey everyone, it's Jet, back today with a cooking video, and today I'm going to show you how to get the cooking recipe called the Horde of Draconic Delicacies. Now if you tooltip over this, you'll say that it requires you to do a quest called What a Long Sweet Trip It's Been. Now that is true, but the problem is this is the last quest in a series of seven other quests, so it's a quest chain. Now, you really want to do this, especially run it on your alts, because one, it's not hard to do. It is time gated. Uh, that's the, the hardest part of it. But the quests that you have to do each day are not, are not hard at all. Basically, you go to different zones and you, you got to pick up some things and then take it back to the Ruby Feast. Um, but why you want to do that is you can sell this recipe. So you can learn one. And then if you're a collector, learn one. And then you can put the rest on the auction house. And they, they sell for quite a bit because a lot of people, you know, they, they want the recipe, but they, they probably don't want to go through the process of, of all this so um, and also in the process you can get an achievement called the great gourmet of the ruby feast so you can knock two birds out uh, with one stone which is really good so I'm gonna show you how to start this uh, the intro quest will be all around Valdraken um, in the city of Valdraken here you'll, you'll notice these posters all around town and these posters will not show up unless you are renowned 10 with Valdraken Accord. I tested this, so you gotta be renowned 10 at least uh, with Valdraken to even see these start and quest. This is a start and quest uh, poster. So you wanna click it and it says the Ruby Feast. Basically you wanna talk to the chefs in the Ruby Feast. So we're gonna accept this. And a lot of people don't go to the Ruby Feast, but the Ruby Feast is back here in Valdraken. It's, 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 it's out in the, in the boonies really. That's why probably no one goes there. So I do wanna say each day after you do this that a new quest will not show up on your map so you got to um go back here every day and remember to go back here every day to do, to do this for seven days in a row so when you get to the ruby feast you'll notice a dragon sitting here and you want to talk to her and she's like okay yeah complete the quest and then she'll give you your first quest this is the very first quest of the quest chain so it's called all tea no shade leaf and basically you got to go to shiver web shiver web veil and uh pick up some items for her so we're going to do that i'm going to show you you know what to expect each day so we'll be right back okay so we got down here to the azor span the first quest in this uh quest chain is down here in the azor span and you talk to little dawn burst and this is the type of quest that you're going to expect each day for seven days. Uh, all tea, no shade leaf. These other two, you don't have to do them. They're not part of the quest chain. So you come down here, you accept the quest, and then she'll give you another one. It's called Warm Away the Shivers. And you just want to accept it. And you want to collect 12 uh, leaves. And you notice, like just like anything, uh, all the leaves will be on the map. So you collect 12. Now, when you collect 12 here in all these quests for seven days after you collect the items you just have to go back to the ruby feast you don't have to go go back to the quest giver now all these quests are sim fairly easy they're really easy the fourth quest in this chain though it is locked behind a um the chromie the chromie quest chain in thaldrasis so i'll put all the descriptions in that so before you can see that npc you gotta you gotta do the chromie quest chain up to a certain point so we'll knock this out here and we'll head back to the ruby feast all right we picked up our leaves and we headed back to the ruby feast here and we're just going to turn this quest in so when you turn it in she'll give you some items here now eat these items and it'll go towards the achievement and uh these items usually that you get each day are on the table also so you can go pick them up there for the achievement now we'll just turn it in and then she won't give you another quest until tomorrow. So like I said, um, the, these quests won't show up on the map. So you just got to remember to come back here. So after seven days, you'll get the last quest. Uh, what a long, sweet trip it's been. And we'll do that right now. And I'll show you uh, the recipe. So after completing all the quests for seven days, you'll get your last quest here. And it's called what a long, sweet trip it's been. And this one's really easy. All you got to do is accept it. And uh, basically she tells you that the uh, the horde is just behind the cauldron, which is located right here at the Ruby Feast. There's a little, little chest right here. So you pick it up. 
you get the recipe journal and then you just turn it in here and you'll get your your recipe now if you look here this recipe um, sells anywhere between 68k and 69k 99k depending on the server so this is all um, this ain't a commodity so each server is going to be different now like I said this quest ain't hard this quest chain ain't hard it is just time consuming and gated and the hardest part of it of all those is doing the quest the fourth quest where it's you have to unlock the chromy uh, scenario the chromy uh, quest chain up to a certain point but I'll put all that in the descriptions below so that's how you get the uh, horde of draconic delicacies so good luck with your cooking